Hi guys, my name is Becca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a weekly reading check-in for the Newt's Magical Readathon, or just for August. Uh, it's been a couple of months since I've done weekly reading check-ins. Um, I really wish I did them. I just never had the time or never felt motivation to make videos uh whatever i did it was just a regular video it wasn't a check-in um and then of course i think in the last couple of months i've read a lot and i didn't do my check-ins and so i didn't even talk about the books i was reading except for the tbr and then the wrap-up which i always dread making wrap-ups especially when i read so much and i haven't talked about those books um and i'm not great at making reviews so i don't really do review videos uh, so yeah, we're getting back into the swing of things. I'm making these check-ins again. <sighs> I'm happy. Uh, so we're going to be talking about the books that, I'm, uh, that I've been reading and are currently reading, obviously. And then I'm also going to be talking about um, some shows that I'm watching, movies that I've been seeing, um, video games that I'm playing, stuff like that. I figured I would really like to talk about what I'm doing over the week or what I've been doing for the week, uh, just have a chat. I think I'd really like doing that in these videos. So let's get right into it. So yeah, TV shows I've been watching, um, I binge watched Umbrella Academy season two. It was perfection. I absolutely loved it. Can't wait for season three. It's going to be freaking amazing. I am so, so excited for that. <sighs> season two was just so good it was better than season one in my opinion just gonna point that out um let's see uh i am watching film Metal alchemist brotherhood uh i was watching it before i've seen the all the original i don't remember much from the original but i heard brotherhood was better and it was done a little bit differently i guess they had a better idea for the ending, so they revamped it a little. I'm really excited. Uh, I am, if you watch on Netflix, I'm in part three out of five. So there's 13 episodes each part, and I just finished part two, and now I'm into three. Um, let's see. I, okay. So I did something that I wanted to do. Now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, what the hell did I do? So I have had Disney Plus ever since it came out, which what was like November of last year. And I have yet to really truly utilize it the way I wanted to. I wanted to like binge all things Disney the minute it came out. And I haven't done that. So I made this like list of all Disney things I wanted to watch. I also threw some animated stuff, uh, other animated movie stuff in there that's not on Disney, but I just threw it in there. But I just wrote down all the things that I wanted to see, things that I hated before and kind of want to give another try to. Um, like Peter Pan. Freaking hate Peter Pan. But we're gonna give it a shot again. Uh, Dumbo. I never was a fan of Dumbo, but I really want to see the live action movie and have yet to do that. So, yeah. Uh, and then movies that I've seen and really love and just want to, you know, watch them again, like Aladdin, Cinderella, uh, Moana. I freaking love Moana. So good. Um, and yeah, just stuff I haven't even seen, like Hamilton. I have yet to see Hamilton. I hate myself for it. So I wrote all the stuff, uh, and the way I'm doing it, because I'm an idiot, but also I'm an overachiever, um, is that, uh, when I pick one, so I random numbered, or I just threw, you know, them all into a random number generator, one through like 38, I guess. And whatever number comes up, uh, I have to watch those movies and what I believe is affiliated with it. So let's say Goofy, because that's the one I decided to do, or that's the one I came up on. Uh, it's been a while since, since I've seen the Goofy movies. That's what I'm basing it off of, the Goofy movies. And then of course, I forgot there's a show with it. So I have to watch the show as well. So the two Goofy movies plus the show shouldn't be bad, except for the show is 78 episodes and I'm not liking it. It's okay. It's fine. But I feel like Goofy should be taken in small doses 
for me. I'm not the hugest fan of Goofy. Don't at me, don't hate me. It It is what it is. Um, there are times where I don't like either of the three. Freaking Mickey can be... No, that's not true. I do love Mickey. Donald can be an asshole and Goofy can be just too stupid. And I can't stand it at times. So I have to take them in small doses. But me, <laughs> I decide to watch 78 episodes of Goofy. I don't know why. Uh, but it's fine. I watch only five episodes a night. It's what it is. Um, I put them on the background while I like read and like plan things out and stuff like that. So yeah, stuff like that. Uh, like if I had done Cinderella, shit. <laughs> Cinderella is all three Cinderella Disney movies plus the Disney live action plus uh, like the Rodgers and Hammerstein, Hammersteins. Oh my God. The Julie Andrews plus the Brandy. I have not seen the Julie Andrews one and I really want to. So yeah. And then Ever After is a Cinderella story. And then all the Cinderella story movies, like I am just, they may not all be Disney, but I don't care. Yeah, that's how I'm going off of that. This is my own plan. It is what it is. Um, I can't wait till I'm done with Goofy and then I can go on to something else. That would be nice. But yeah, anything that I feel like is in the same vein of it or is in this, like affiliated with it, in my opinion, goes into that. Thankfully, Goofy is only three things and I'll be done soon. <laughs> I say soon, but I'll probably be done in a week. But yeah. Okay, so that's the show. So yeah, I'm watching Goof Troop, not loving it. It's fine. Um, I watched the two Goofy movies. They were good. They were, you know, they were good. They're nostalgic. I never truly watched Goof Troop. Like, I did watch some episodes, but I was not, like, hooked into it when I was a kid, which is probably why I'm not truly loving it now, because I don't have that nostalgic feel as much. Yeah. It's not like if it was Aladdin or Gargoyles or Little Mermaid or, yeah. Also, Aladdin, because Disney still doesn't have the Aladdin TV show on there. I guess they don't have rights. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just really, really salty about it because that's like my favorite animated Disney TV show. Yeah, it's not there. So what I'm doing is for Aladdin, um, I'm skipping Return of Jafar because screw that. But I'm watching one in three uh, the live action, and then I'm watching Gargoyles, because I used to watch Gargoyles and Latin together, and so I, it's my rules, <laughs> I'm okay with it, I'm happy, and I can't wait. Okay, so yeah, that's the movies, the shows, yeah, uh, video games, uh, of course I'm still playing Final Fantasy XIV, um, but I don't play it as much anymore, just because I'm kind of just done. Um, I finished like the main story and everything a long time ago and I kind of got bored of doing other things. So I'm just waiting for the new patch, which is coming out in like a week. So that's going to be fun. Um, I got my other brother to start playing it, so that's great. So still playing it, but, uh, not as much as I used to. I used to be totally addicted and playing it every day. Now maybe once or twice a week. Uh, but I am playing Darksiders 3. And I'm loving it. Well, I love Darksiders. I love the story. The gameplay is different from every freaking Darksiders game has a different gameplay. Um, like different battle system and everything. And I'm not loving that, but that's me. And I know a lot of people do like that. It makes things fresh. That's fine. This is the weakest gameplay in my opinion. But I don't care. I do love the series. I love the story. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now we can actually get on to the books, because that's really what you guys are here for, right? Alright, so the, um, like I said, I started the new Smashable Readathon in the month of August. I'm only reading nine books for that readathon. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is just read three, uh, the three each week. Uh, so my exams are Care of Magical Creatures, Charms, and uh herbology because i'm trying to be a magizoologist it's the last time i'm doing this readathon that's harry potter themed because jk rowling you know uh but g she's not really hosting it this time around she just gave us all the prompts and is like this is the final you know final one just go for it 
uh, if you just want to finish it up. And then next year, um, from what I heard, she's making a whole new world. Uh, and the Magical Readathon will be part of that world. And uh, I am excited for it. I am so happy, though, that it's continuing, even though it's not Harry Potter anymore. It's fine. I'm just happy that it's continuing. And this readathon is just so much fun. So, yeah. Uh, I started with the Care of Magical Creatures exams. I have to get an outstanding, which is three books. Um, so the first one is A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. Uh, this one is to read a book with fire in the title. And here we are. Uh, this is the first book in the Kingmaker Chronicles. And we follow... Why can't I remember her name? I just read this at the beginning of the week. Why can't I remember her name? What is wrong with me? I know it. <laughs> oh my god, are you cat? Her name is Cat. <laughs> okay. We follow Cat, who is a soothsayer in this traveling circus. She's not only a soothsayer, but that's what she's going as. Um she has like oracle type powers as well as some other things. I'm not gonna spoil. You should read the book. It's it's actually good. It's got Greek mythology weaved into it, so love that. Uh, and we follow her, uh, as she meets the, um, like, second in command of this, um, or, yeah, like, the second in command to, uh, the, the queen of this land that we're in, which is called Sinta. There's, I think, I want to say there's three main lands, but I could be wrong, there could be more, but the only ones I really remember are Fiza and Sinta. And then I can't remember the other one. Um, but Kat is known as a kingmaker. There's only one in 200 years, or every 200 years. And the second in command, Griffin, finds her. And pretty much kidnaps her and takes her home to his land. You know, to his, uh, to his home. Um, to the palace of Sinta. And there she will help them... rule Cinda, uh, as well as maybe take over the rest of the world. <sighs> I'm not great at explaining things. It's good. Um, I wasn't like totally invested in the beginning, but I was really enjoying it, uh, like towards the middle through the end. It, I love the Greek mythology references. It's so good. Um, the romance is really good. It wasn't at first, but it got better. And yeah, I just... I really enjoyed it. Um, it is a fantasy romance. Again, Greek mythology. I, I gave it, I want to say four stars. Yeah. I gave it four stars. I am now really, really excited to pick up the second book, which I want to say is, um, come on, more for me, Breath of Fire? Yeah. So there's only three books and Breath of Fire is next. So, I am excited to continue on there. And then the next prop was to read a short read, and that is, for me, Love Creekwood by Becky Albertalli. This is literally just emails um, that our characters send each other while they are all the way at college. Um, mostly I'm just here for Simon and Blue because that's really all I want, though you do get Leah and Abby as well, and they're cute. Um, Lee and the Offbeat was not my favorite book at all. I want to say I gave that two stars and I was really upset about it. But Seven vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda is seriously still my favorite book. Or one of my favorite books of all time. And Simon and Blue are just so beautiful and I love them so much. Um, I love the movie. I love the books. Uh, this one, though, that last email. That last email. Becky, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? There better be another book or I am going to raise hell. <sighs> I am so going to raise hell. That that last email between Simon and Blue. Mm. Man, is it getting me. But Blue is just so beautiful. I love when he emails Simon because it's just, his emails are just so heartwarming and uh, like poetic and they're just, they're just so beautiful. And Simon, I love him. And again, like, Leah and, Ab Leah and Abby are cute and all, 
um, but they don't give me the same feels as Simon and Blue do, so, but yeah, this, um, I want to say, gave this also four stars, yeah, I gave this four stars as well, it's really short, it's like 100 pages, and it's all literally email based, so, yeah, okay, um, and then, I've also been currently reading the last prompt for Care of Magical Creatures, uh, and that is to just read a book with a snack. Why are you not? There it goes. Which is Archangel's Viper. Um, this is by Nalini Singh, and this follows Venom and Holly, which I do remember. Holly is from, uh, like, the first book. She was kidnapped by the psychotic mass murdering uh archangel that we met in the first book and we've kind of seen snippets of her in each book um not each book but we've seen snippets of her in um throughout the series and now we're finally getting her own book with venom and i'm kind of liking it a lot <sighs> so yeah venom is a vampire holly is also a vampire and they both have poison blood so if anybody drinks from them they can get poison but since they both have it they're immune to each other and so yeah it's actually really good um it didn't start off like sexy or smutty or anything because they didn't really have feelings for each other in the beginning they're semi friends uh semi enemies kind of thing um it it's just it's kind of like a hate to love but yeah, I mean, I really am enjoying it. I'm like 68% in the way in, and I can't wait to finish it. I'm hopefully going to be finishing it tonight, and then I can go into my next read, which will not be part of the newts, but because I'm, I've also got other books on my TBR. But yeah, more Archangel's Viper tonight. Uh, and then lastly, uh, the one I'm hopefully going to be starting either tonight or tomorrow is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I really want to read this. Uh, I, f I completely forgot that Kayla over at Books and Lala was doing a, uh, her literally dead book club pick for August was Home Before Dark. And so I guess I'll be reading it and seeing how everybody else thought. Um, I really wanted to be a part of that book club, but I never got around to actually reading any of the books. This one though, I am very much excited for and I can't wait to see what, what Kayla thought of it or just anybody else thought. So yeah, this one is all about a haunted house and ghosts and I'm excited. I'm so excited. It's a lot like, uh, well, it's kind of in the same vein as Amityville Horror. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm excited for that. And that's about it. Uh, next week, I will see you guys again with another check-in. I hope you enjoy these videos. I enjoy making them just because then I feel like I'm actually talking about the books that I'm reading. So that's good. Oh, that's not all I read. That's not all I read. I forgot. I also read one other book. Um, yeah, let me see if I can pull it up. If I can find it, where to go? Really? Did I lose it? I guess I must have lost it. Okay. Um, it's fine. I'll pull it up a little bit. So I read the first, I want to say it was 10 chapters. Yeah, here it is. Um, of Igniting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. This one is the sequel to Courting Darkness, which is the, they're like the spinoff of, um, the His Fair Assassin trilogy, I want to say. And this is just the new series that, um, takes place right after the last book in that trilogy, which was Mortal Heart. Um, and we're following Sabella and, the new girl Genevieve, they're still both daughters of Mortain and assassin nuns, and it's it's great. 
Uh, I got the sampler from NetGalley to review, and I, yeah, I read, I think it was, like, the first 50 pages, maybe, which is, like, uh, the first 10 chapters, um, and it was good. <sighs> I miss the, like, the original trilogy. They won't ever match up to those, because those three books are just fantastic, but, um, I still am really enjoying being back in this world, being back with my characters again, and finding out what's going on now in uh, French court. Um, but yeah, still got political intrigue, assassin nuns, some gods. What, what can go wrong? I mean, really. Um, but yeah, I am still really enjoying that. And I did not know that was a duology. I love that I go on Goodreads and okay, so it's literally just a duology. That works. So, okay. Yeah, uh, I do know that the full book just came out this month, yes, uh, like a couple of days ago, so I will be picking that up, I will be continuing on with the book, um, but the first 10 chapters were good, I highly recommend um, picking up this series if you haven't already, I love his Fair Assassin trilogy so much, and then we get to just be back in the world with Sabella again, and get to see our characters again, so that's great. But yeah, now that is all that I read this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back again with a video just like it next week. Um, but I'll also be making my other videos too. Whew. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again with another video. Bye. Happy reading.